Hey everybody, this is graphic designer Roberto Blake, and in today's YouTube video, I'm going to talk to you about why coding is not web design. Now, this video requires two disclaimers. Number one, I've actually been doing hand coding for about 15 years now. I used to code in Notepad. That's right, Notepad. Number two, if you're a coder, before you even bother to comment and flame me on this video, watch it all the way through and I think you'll actually understand what I'm trying to say and appreciate it. So why is coding not web design? Well, although you do theoretically need to use HTML and CSS code to build websites, if you are a coder and you're developing websites, but you don't know anything about Gestalt uniforming principles, you don't know about typography, tracking, leading, line space, uh, if you don't know about color theory, if you don't know about layout, visual hierarchy, then you're not actually designing a website. There's no design behind what you're doing. And the result often is a very functional website with a lot of you know interesting little doodads and cool things that it can do with the code or relating to a database or some scripting language, but it usually looks terrible. And yes, I'm very familiar with the concept of form follows function. Here's the problem. Websites are ultimately a tool of not only communicating information today, but usually selling products and services or promoting a person's brand or company. And as a result of that, because you're usually selling something or at least presenting something, then the aesthetic considerations, the visual considerations are part of the functionality, not what it does, what it is, is part of that. So with that form now becomes function and you've completely disregarded that it, because you're not comfortable with it or you're not capable of doing it because you're a technical person. You're more of a developer. You're not actually a designer. So why do coders call themselves web designers? Well, because it's easier to sell their services because the average person doesn't necessarily know what a web developer is or they're not comfortable with the web developer title because they're not doing advanced programming on the website with PHP, ASP.NET, or JavaScript, or what have you. So they're not comfortable saying that they're a full-blown web developer because of their lack of programming capability, but they're not an actual designer because they don't have a design background or any of the visual presentation skills or industry knowledge regarding that. The other problem that this creates is then coders then try to uh, bash actual web designers who don't necessarily use HTML code to build websites. That's right, you don't need HTML to build a website. It actually, uh, the two things are not necessarily dependent. You can build a website with an application like Adobe Muse. You can use a content management system. You can use something like Squarespace. And that still makes you a web designer if you're actually doing the layout, if you're doing the visual hierarchy, if you're doing the typography, if you're doing those things, you're actually designing the website regardless of what tool you're using. See, coders will say, well, real web designers code, uh, but I completely disagree with that. Real web designers don't code and they don't necessarily use those other tools. Real web designers, if you want an honest explanation, ultimately deliver the results that their clients need with regard to their web-based products without regard of how they actually accomplish that task. Because in the end, it's not about what you want to do. It's not about what you're comfortable using. It's about can you deliver the solution that your client wants and that your client needs. So if your client doesn't need a very super fancy functional website, but they do need something that presents very well or matches their corporate branding or matches their print ad spot on or is a landing page for gathering information or converting leads and you can't do that with what it needs to do either visually or technically, then you're not resolving the solution for your client. So how are you going to style yourself as a quote unquote real web designer when you're not solving the problem? Design is about visual problem solving. It's about creativity. And if you're super technical, but you're not creative, the reality is you're only getting the job done halfway. That's why a lot of times it's really good to collaborate with other people. If you're a designer and you have all the visual aesthetic skills, but you don't have the technical ability, it's good to partner with somebody who does have that ability. If you're a coder and you don't have any visual skills whatsoever, it's good to partner with a designer or an artist who can help provide that. This way, even if you have to split the money and the responsibility, people are doing what they do best and no compromise to the quality of work is taking place. Clients appreciate that and they respect that. 
coders. You need to respect designers and understand what they do and the value that it adds to your work. Designers, you need to try to become more tech savvy and you need to respect what a coder brings to the table so that you can work together to deliver for your clients. Now me, I happen to be very fortunate in the fact that I'm also a super technical person and I'm creative and artistic, so I get the best of both worlds. I've worked with a ton of programmers and developers and I've worked with other designers before who had no technical ability whatsoever. And I like to think of myself as that bridge or a person who can walk in both worlds. And not everybody's going to do that. Not everyone's gonna be capable of doing that. You are who you are. Just understand that there are other people that you can bring in as a resource to create your best work and don't be afraid to call yourself what you are. If you don't have any actual design skills, don't try and sell yourself as a designer. If you don't have technical skills, don't try and sell yourself as a technical person. Be honest and straightforward with your clients and understand that in the end, it's all about them and what you can deliver for them. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I hope you understand uh, the concepts that I'm trying to get across here a little better. Coders, I hope you're not going to be too hangry with me in the comment section below, but if you are, I guess I was asking for it. Anyway, like this video if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe. Check out the other videos on my channel. And as always, you guys, thanks for watching.